I'm Sean Keenan. I manage the Kickstart program. Some of you will know me, um, some of you won't. Uh, you're all very welcome. Uh, the Kickstart program helps uh, startup businesses in Mid East Antrim uh, with mentoring support. And we're continuing the program at the moment virtually, so mentoring over Zoom. Um, so great fun there. Um, what else? The, in response to coronavirus, um, we've ex extended the eligibility criteria for, for Kickstart. So now any business that's less than three years in trading um, can access the program. So, and if there's anybody who's watching this who thinks they might qualify, but they're not on Kickstart and they're interested, get in touch with me. Um, my details are should be easy enough to find, but it's it's Sean S E A N dot Keenan K -E 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 at mid and east antrim dot gov dot uk. We've also got Jacqueline who works with me in the economic development department. Say hello, Jacqueline. Hello, everyone. And Mark uh, Lachlan, who's going to be delivering this webinar for us. Um, Mark, some of you will already know. Sorry for talking over you there, Mark. Oh, no, um, no, no, no. So, so some of you will already know Mark uh, from his work as, a, as an IT mentor on the Kickstart program. Uh, we had originally hoped to deliver this as an in-person workshop back in April, was it, Mark? Yeah, Time in April? I so, yeah. But clearly that went by the wayside, like <laughs> yeah. a lot of other things. Yeah. So we're, we're going to try and deliver it as a, a two-part webinar um, this week and next week. Um, throughout this session, which we're, we're thinking should only last for a, about an hour or so, um, we have a Q&A. So there's the Q&A functionality built in within Zoom. If you hover your mouse down at about the bottom of the screen, you'll see Q&A. That, that way you can interact with um, ourselves and with other people in the room as well. Um, so feel free to type in questions but we were talking about this yesterday and i think it's probably best if we hold off to there's going to be some different stages mark do you want yeah. to yeah so i'll even just that? i'll just kind of take a few breaks and just ask if anybody's got any questions and then we can try and take it step by step and make it as uh, simple as possible and then i'll answer anything that anybody's kind of got any issues with up to that point great yeah, so yeah. we'd ask, maybe hold off until we, we're approaching that point um, before asking questions, because you may find that you're typing away at a question and then the question gets answered anyway. Um, so maybe leave it until those breaks as such, um, and, and we'll do our best then to, to answer questions. There's also going to be um, two polls, I hope. Um, yeah, there's two polls down there. Uh, so we just wanted to get a bit more, bit of information about yourselves. Um, are you in business yet? What size business? What sector are you in? That sort of thing. And also, then there's another poll um, just about the the webinar. I suppose it's the virtual equivalent of a happy sheet or an evaluation form. We're making people fill them in just before the end um, because we know there's no chance of getting them completed afterwards. So if you would be so good to, to work with us on that, that would be appreciated. Um, I think that's probably enough blather from me. Um, I'll hand over to Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, thanks everybody for joining in. Um, I'll give you a background. So as Sean said, my name is Mark Lachlan. I am a digital, you would say, expert, something some along them lines. Um, so I run a digital design company in Larn, and we provide websites for companies of all different sizes. So I have been working on the Kickstarter program probably for coming up to maybe 12 months, not far off. So um, I've worked with maybe countless of uh, people like yourselves, small businesses, people just starting out and trying to provide the best digital solutions that are one easy for you guys to sell up yourself and um, to don't cost the world to do. So for websites, I always recommend Wix. And this is obviously why we are now um, something about Wix. So I will show you, just, I'll share my screen with you guys now and just talk you through just a quick couple of slides about Wix. And then we'll just go straight into the platform 
and I will show you how to build a website. So give me two seconds, I'll just share my screen. So hopefully everybody can see that. So just a quick intro. Um, so we are building a Wix website. So for this week, what we're going to cover is um, we're going to show you how to set up your account, um, show you which. So Wix is a free platform. You can build a free website on Wix. Um, but as a business, you're going to want your domain, um, which would be your, your website address, your www. So to achieve that, you need to have a premium account. So I'm going to show you how to set up your account and which account, um, which price bracket would, would be more than enough for you guys to have. I'm also going to show you how to register for your domain or transfer one. So three weeks, you can you can get a domain uh, for free. Actually, your first year, they'll give you your domain free. So you can have your .co.uk or your .com or whatever it is you, you've decided. And you can get it for free. And if you've already purchased that on something like um, GoDaddy or another one of them platforms, I'll also show you how to transfer that over so that you can attach it to the website that we create um, today. So I'm also going to show you about templates. So Wix um, provides hundreds and probably thousands of templates for all different types of websites. Um, I'm going to show you through them and show you how you can quickly create a website for your business. I'm then going to go into taking you a quick tour around the Wix platform, just show you everything about the dashboard, make you familiar with all the terminology and show you just the wee kind of ins and outs of everything that will help make your website a success and make it as best as it can be. And then we're going to finish off today. I have this last week designed a home page. So this between now and next week, we're going to build three pages together. So we're going to design a home page, a services page, and a contact page. So throughout them three pages, that should cover kind of nearly everything that Wix provides. So that'll allow you then to go and create four or five other pages. I should show you enough features that will allow you to create your own pages. So that is this week. Next week, we're going to, as I said, build the services page, build the contact page. I'm going to show you how to mobile optimize your site. That is probably the most important part of a website nowadays. Um, Google will index a mobile optimized site uh, first rather than desktop. I would say probably 80%, if not more than that nowadays, of web traffic is from mobile. So your mobile is vitally important that it works and that it looks great and that it will convert for yourself for your customers. Um, I'll also then show you how to publish your site. Uh, once your site's published, we can then look at the SEO tools. So the SEO tools will help you get found in Google, help customers find you, get inquiries, make sales, whatever that is you want to do. And also how to blog. So blogging is a great way to keep your site active. Um, on Wix, it's done slightly differently. It's actually not done in the website, it's done outside it, so I'll show you that. It's really simple, um, and we'll go through that, and that'll be the end of next week. So that is the two weeks um, kind of schedule. Um, kind of my only bit of advice before starting your website is just to do a bit of simple planning. So with every new project that I, I undertake, I kind of have an idea of what, <clears throat> excuse me, what my site's going to be about. So before starting your website design, I would recommend creating a plan of exactly what you want to achieve from your site. So what I mean by that is, are you planning on selling something on your site? Is it just an informational site? Is it going to be video based? Is it all these sort of things? You'd really consider what your website, what you want your website to do for your business. And then you need to think after that about the number of pages, what sort of content, your written copy, your images, your videos, all of that that you want to include, and then what kind of features do you want? Do you want? Do you need a contact form? Do you want it to hit your social media? All that sort of stuff. Having the plan in place will help speed up and simplify the process of building your site. So what I mean by that is, you're already trying to learn Wix, so um, building your site will probably be more challenging to you than creating your content. So as you go, you don't want to start your homepage and be trying to build your page and think of your content as well at the same time. It'll just make the whole process that bit longer and be a bit more stressful. So as you can see from this image, this is very similar to what um, my company does whenever we kind of break down a site. It's you've got your homepage here, and what feeds off the homepage, what pages feed off it. So there they have about us, our work, services, and 
etc. There. So all I do with that is make kind of an idea of what do I want on my About Us page? Do I want a picture of myself? Okay, if I do, let's go and find that page or that picture, sorry, and I will put it into a folder and it's there. So whenever I come to build my site, I'm not searching through my Facebook or my database of images. It's there ready for me and just speeds everything up. And the same for copy. I'll, if I think, okay, I'm a couple of paragraphs, I'll have them pre-written in a Microsoft Word document, just placed in a folder. So when it comes to building the About Us page, all I really have to worry about it's making sure it works really on, on Wix, make sure that I can get the right features done that I want. Then it's just a matter of popping your content in and life is just so much easier. So that's my kind of only wee bit of kind of industry advice is just make a, a simple plan. You don't have to go to that sort of detail, don't expect that, but um, just a slight plan and a wee jotter just kind of, of what each page is going to achieve. So yeah, let's take a quick look then at, um, at Wix. So, Hopefully you guys can see this has changed okay. Um, this is the Wix platform. So you've probably seen this before or maybe checked it out just before this has happened. Um, Wix is great. The reason I, rec I recommend Wix is because one, it is once you get into it and you get, you get familiar with it, it is simple to use in comparison to other website builders. You're gonna hear people recommend that um, WordPress or Squarespace or all them sort of things. Um, and there is, with WordPress site especially, you can do a lot more. You could probably get a, a faster site. You can do more features that'll probably perform better. But with a WordPress site, you're gonna need a bit of technical knowledge, in my opinion, to maintain it, to actually put that design in place. So Wix, I mean, it's a, it's a massive platform. You've got guys behind the scene who make sure that it's always live, um, all the updates are done, all that's kind of taken care of for you with the money you pay each month. So it's like having your own like um, tech team. Like, so whenever I build all my, for my own business, I build my sites in WordPress, but these guys are paying outside companies or myself to maintain the updates that it takes, um, software upgrades, all these sort of things that go behind the scenes that you, you kind of, you're not aware of until you actually build it. So this is why something like Wix for a small business is great because there's no headaches, <laughs> any problems that they have it sorted out. It's such a, it is a really great platform. Um, so there's loads of things that Wix do. I would recommend having just a good read through it, seeing exactly what they can do. There's loads of um, other things apart from websites that you can do with the platform. So as you can see here, they've got a logo maker, um, it's probably blog, um, online store, at best SEO. So just get yourself familiar with it. Um, there's no harm just to know exactly what they do. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look now then at the subscriptions. So premium plans is what we want to go to. Okay, so there's two types of websites. There's just your, your standard website, and then there's a business and an e-commerce site. So a business and e-commerce site, you need to be able to take payments. So whether you're having a shop or just somewhere for somebody to send you payments to make a, um, for bookings or whatever, any sort of payments you need a business and e-commerce site. And the reason for that is because, as you can see here, you need a, a payment merchant. So you need to be able to make payments through PayPal or Visa or MasterCard. And you also need what's called an SSL certificate. That offers your customers um, more security online. You're going to be dealing with a lot of um, sensitive data. So they're the kind of two main things that a e-commerce platform has rather than just a standard website. So for, ooh, we'll start with website first. So what I'm recommending to all my clients, if it's just a standard website, the combo package is more than enough. It's six pound a month. Um, it gives you two gig bandwidth. So basically what, what bandwidth is, it's how fast your site loads, it's how it processes the amount of data. So what that's saying is you've got two gigs worth of storage. So the amount of images and video and content you have on your site will affect that. So it's allowing you have up to two gig worth. Um, you also get three gig of storage. So that means that on the Wix platform, if you are working from home one day and you upload a load of images to your site and then another day you're working at the office, it's like a cloud. So it allows you to store video content imagery on a database within Wix. So you get three gig, which is a fair, a fair amount for a website. Um, also removes the Wix ads and gives you your free domain for the year. So with the free domain, 
they send you a voucher. So as soon as you get your premium plan, you will get an email with a free domain voucher. So um, I will show you how to use it as well. Um, 30 minutes worth of video. Don't worry too much about video because we will never load a, a video onto your website. There's no need for it. Um, a video will be the highest memory. Um, it's the biggest file size. So like a 10, 15 minute video could be anywhere from half a gig to two gig, depending on the size. So with the likes of YouTube and Vimeo, you would use them. So what you would do there is, again, I'll show you, and that'll be next week, but you would upload your videos to a YouTube account, and then you would link from YouTube um, to your website. So that means that your website isn't actually carrying any of that um, any of that data. So it means your website's going to stay nice and fast, and you don't have to upgrade and pay any more storage. So um, that's definitely something that you want to do, um, avoid uploading videos um, at all costs. Um, and then ad vouchers, so 75 pounds worth of ad vouchers. So for every 25 pound, for, sorry, for the first 25 pound you spend, they will give you 75 pounds. So that's for Google ads. So whenever your site's up and running and you want to do a bit of advertising, um, you can do social media advertising or Google ads or whatever. So these guys are giving you 75 pounds worth of free vouchers. So um, something just to remember because doing a bit of advertising always helps. Um, yeah, so combo for your website, and as your website grows, don't get me wrong, if your website starts turning into something really big and popular, you can just gradually upgrade as you go. You're not set to combo. If you decide that you're going to turn it into something a lot bigger, you can just switch and go to the unlimited or the VIP. Um, it gets you all these different things here. So business and e-commerce, very similar, apart from you can accept payments. Um, I just say business basic. You get unlimited bandwidth, which create 20 gig of storage. So if you have a shop and you're uploading, um, say, clothing, and there's four or five images per piece of clothing and stuff, and you have 100 products, you can see that would, that would mount up the amount of images you have. Um, and then everything else is very similar. Five hours of video, but not used them. You've got your Google, Google Analytics. So you can track um, the amount of visitors you're having, how long they're staying on for, what pages they seem to be responding best to. So it's great for... For your data analysis, you can see really which parts of your website are performing really well. Um, you can capitalize on that. So if certain pages aren't doing well, you can I mean, use factors of the pages that are doing well and try and get them up to speed as well. So that is the, that's the kind of plans um, that I recommend. And as I say, as you grow, and hopefully you grow fairly quickly, you can upgrade them. They're, they're not set in stone by any means. Um, okay, so we are going to look at then my account. So what I have done is I have created my own, like a new brand. So I went on to Canva, I'm sure you, maybe you guys are familiar with it, and created a, um, okay, so there we go, there's a 50% off sale actually on Wix at the moment. So that could be worth a look. I have created a, a plumbing website, so I'm a, um, a brand, so as if I'm a plumber. So this week I have created this site and we are going to recreate that site. But I'll show you a quick, um, so you guys can see that, okay. So we have the logo, we have our buttons, just the different pages. We have call to actions, social media, a few more call to actions. So it's really simple, but really effective and fairly quickly to put together. So this is what we're going to create. Um, I just picked a random industry, and this is what we're going to create um, today, this page. So um, get rid of this. So dashboard. So one last other thing I need to note is, which is good about Wix. So if you register for the free account, you do not have to buy the premium account until your site is ready. So if your site takes you three months to build, it won't cost you a penny. So get your free account, get your site all ready to go. Once you're, once you're really happy with your site, um, then get your premium package because you can't connect your domain, you can't do your SEO tools or anything like that until you have a premium account. But it is really handy, the fact that it's not gonna cost you anything to um, get set up. So this is the, the dashboard. Once you've created your first site, 
this is what um, you will see. Um, I will actually show you quickly if I go to my sites. Um, I'll walk you through the templates first. So um, because I have a site here, this will look slightly different than yours. Um, you won't get this screen. Um, instead of this screen, you will get this screen, which is, um, this is the first screen you will see whenever it comes to um, building your own site. Um, so it's just, again, all in the categories. What kind of business are you? So I'm gonna pick just standard business. And this is the next two options you'll get. So it is let Wix ADI create a website for you. So all you'll do there is you'll answer a quick questionnaire, you put in your business name, drop in your logo, and it will create a site for you. Or you can create your website with the editor. And as I said, start with a template, make it your own with easy drag and drop. I definitely do not recommend getting Wix to do it for you. And the reason for that is that I'm sure that creates a great, um, a really nice site. It's just, you want to be self-sufficient with your website. And what I mean by that is if you haven't built it or you haven't learned to haven't learned, sorry, how to um, add things like imagery, how to change the text, how to change logos, change colors. If you ever decide to make any changes down the line, so say your, your business starts to become really successful and you really want to up the website, you're going to be starting from scratch whenever you're probably at your busiest. So it's best to do it now before your website goes live is to learn the Wix platform so that anything's thrown at you, you'll have a fair idea how to fix it, how to change it. And it also means you're not relying on anybody either. There's nothing worse as a small business waiting for somebody to help you fix something that's urgent or whenever you're self-sufficient, it's just so much easier. So, and it really is simple once you, you spend a, a few hours on it. So we're gonna to go to choose a template and I will show you some of the templates. So hopefully you've probably seen some of us before. Um, there's loads of some really, really nice um, templates. And that's me coming from a, from a web design's perspective that uh, for a small business, there's really no need to be hiring somebody like myself. Um, there's so much you can do now. Um, for very little money, very, very easily. So if we go here, you have all these kind of different um, categories. So if we, if we decide actually, you know what, it's not business, we're gonna go into makeup and cosmetics. Here's all the different ones you see. So you're only getting a kind of brief view there, but if you wanna take a proper look at the site, all you do is go view. And there we go. So this is how the site looks. This is actually a one page site. So what I mean by that is that these buttons at the top, they only go to certain parts of the one page. So it just moves you down. Well, that's quite a nice site. Well, well designed, nice bright colors, good, great imagery. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm really happy with that. If I was a beautician or a whatever that is, makeup artist or something, um, I'd be like, yeah, really like that. And then on the top left, we can do mobile check. So you can see that we symbol there. We'll just click on it. This will load us up what the site looks like on mobile. As I mentioned before, your mobile is vital now. It needs to be really nice and really easy to use because that's where most of your business will come from nowadays. So yeah, this one transfer is really nice. Got lots of call to actions, book now, book now. But now, I mean, like you want to give your customers as many chances as possible to get in touch with you. Uh, and again, here we have the live chat. So it follows you the whole way down. So it's, it's called a sticky object. And we can add all that into your site. That's quite easy to do as well. Testimonials, yeah. So if you decided, yep, this is the one for me, you would just go on the top right hand here, side here, edit this site, and it'll bring you into the builder. So we're not going to do that now, because I'm going to show you the dashboard a bit first, but do we want to even maybe just do a quick questions? Anybody get any, anything they're not following at the moment or? Yeah, just if anybody's any questions, I think you should have the option to raise your hand. If you, if you go down to the bottom of the screen, um, some menu options should pop up there. And um, if you raise your hand, then I can give you permission to speak. Hang on, I see that Allah has, um, 
raised his hand. Do you want to go ahead, Alan, and and ask your question? Hi there. I I just wanted to know how how would I make sure that no one is using my template? No other no other website. Um, we well, see that's the issue. There, there's no way you can do that. So the only thing with the templates is it's just a base. So say for instance we take this, all these images and the colors and the logos is going to change. So the template is. I mean, it's just, everybody can use the same template. That's the issue with this kind of website design. Um, you're not going to get a, a bespoke um, website unless you build it from scratch. Like I'm about, I'm about to do that now. I'm going to build it from scratch. So that's the only way you'll get a bespoke template is if you build it for yourself. If you decide to save time and use a template, it's really just you'll mix up the colors, you'll mix up all the images. You could have two websites using the same template, and you would never know because you know, like for this, you might be um, a beauty salon, but you don't do um, makeup. You just do facials and hairstyling. So you're going to change how it looks. You're going to be adding content, taking content out. So the only way, as I said, to get a bespoke one is to build it from scratch. And you can do that on Wix, no problem. Um, as I say, we're, I'm about to show you here um, in the last 20 minutes, half hour, how to build it from scratch. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you, you can't just have one template. Right, okay, thank you. Okay, hopefully that's that answered. Is there anybody else um, would like to raise their hand and ask a question? Doesn't look like it. Uh, so just before you start up again, Mark, I'm gonna launch the, that first poll um, okay. and yep. ask people if they wouldn't mind just filling this out. Um, John, can I just talk across you as well? Um, there is another question has been um, raised by Marson. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Can you see that, Mark? No, I can't see. Okay. Well, basically, Marson's asking: um, Do any of the up and coming webinars uh, cover search engines and search engine optimizations? So that's going to be covered next week, Marson. Yeah, so that'll be covered. My search engine optimization is a complete, you know, I mean, it's a full on um, discipline on its own. So I'm going to show you how you can do it on Wix, um, what they offer, the, how they offer. Um, they have a, like a really nice um, step by step platform that walks you through. And as a beginner's, I mean, it's not going to be um, like a real in depth SEO um, tutorial. That's the only thing. It's just as for small businesses and people who maybe aren't as advanced with SEO, that this is the best way to get started. There is obviously other ways that you can add to that, but with Wix, um, as we'll see next week, it's just the platforms. It's it's their own take on SEO. Okay, okay, great. Um, and we have. 12 of 13 people have answered the, the question, so thanks for that. Um, still a little bit of time if the uh, last person wants to answer those questions, and then we can crack on. Um, or I'll just end it now, actually. <laughs> and, and, we, and we'll get cracked on, yeah? Yeah. Okay. There's going to be another wee poll later on, just a sort of evaluation feedback thing, so um, we'll launch that later on towards the end. Okay. Go on ahead, Mark. No problem. So let me see if I can. Okay, so this is the, we'll do this quickly, just I wanna get into showing you guys how to, how to build a site, that's the main thing. So um, this is the dashboard. It's, you've got all your site, uh, your customer management, your SEO, your analytics. Um, so here you'll see your site on your site actions. So the edit the site, you just click on here and it brings you in to edit your new site. Again, with customer management, click in and you see some of the tools. So here are a few things here to set up you know, your inbox. So you can hook your Gmail account. So unfortunately, it's only Gmail that they support at the moment. Um, you can hook that email in here. So that means you don't have to go. You can get your customer emails straight to your Wix platform. So you're not switching between several different tabs or different programs. 
you also put in your business info so you can do branded emails, branded invoices. And the same, they have a WhatsApp where you can, you can keep an eye on your site through your mobile phone and add in your Facebook page. So that is the kind of features they have here. Market and SEO, we'll touch, we'll, we'll do this more next week, but this is where it is. So whenever you have your site ready, ready to go, this is kind of the last step you do. Once you have your site designed, um, built, and then published, and then you'll do your your um, SEO. But it's really simple. It's like a step by step. You'll just fill in the next couple of steps, and it'll walk you through what it suggests, what it, what you need to do, what you haven't done yet. It is really nice, especially if you're not that familiar with the SEO. It'll quite it'll easily get you to where you need to be. Um, but it's not the most advanced thing in the world. But it probably is the best for this sort of between Wix and Squarespace, I would say Wix SEO is definitely the best. So as you can see here, we've got email marketing, you can create emails, send them to your to your customer base. You have you can create social posts, video maker. So there's a lot as so it's getting that Wix, you can really run a lot of your business from the Wix platform. For that, maybe it's a six pound a month. So it's relatively cheap for how much you can do. So that's a bit about the, the dashboard. It really is simple. Once you get into it, you'll you'll find it no bro no problem. Um, as you can see here, we have it's telling us we haven't got our domain connected yet. Um I'm on a premium plan, but we, you can obviously you'll be on the free plan and then you can change that whenever you're ready. Mailbox, you'll set up your Gmail for your business. If you like, you don't have to. If you already have an email, you can just keep using it. It's entirely up to you. So the domain, I'll just show you this quickly. It is really simple to connect the domain. Just give it a second. So if you want to buy a new domain, um, you just click on that. And I think the logo I created was portalplumbers.com. In space. So if I go search, okay, so it tells me this is available. So if I go get it, it's just a matter of confirming that that's definitely the one you want and then paying for it. Um, I'll maybe just, it's not working very well today, not bad. So, but that is it. That's how you, it's very, very simple to get your domain. As long as it's available, you can get it, and I'll tell you here if it's not. So if that wasn't available, I could check .co.uk, search again, and there you go, it's available. So uh, really, really simple. If you want to uh, connect a domain you already know, you own, um, I have a domain that I purchased a long time ago. So that isn't with Wix. I think it's .co.uk. So this will find where my domain is hosted. So there you go. It knows it's with GoDaddy. I'll say yes. And then it gives you guides of how you, how you tell GoDaddy to point to Wix. So there's the text guide there. Um, interactive text guide. Five steps. And then you verify the connection. So this is probably the most complicated part is this bit, but it is really well laid out. And once you go into your, if it is GoDaddy, um, you'll be able to see these settings quite easily and you should be, it should be straightforward enough. And if you have any issues, um, the GoDaddy account guys, if you just ask for help, they'll be able to transfer it for you. And then once it's verified, it'll come across to your, to your website. So the means is probably the most tricky thing to get across with this whole process. And, as you can see there, there's not really that much to it. So just cancel it, I don't want, don't want it to, uh, so I just unassign. So I'm gonna say here, I actually don't want this anymore because I don't want it to move. Okay, so my site, let's have a look at how we build a site. Um, so again, I'll show you this again. Actually, well not, we'll just crack on. So I'm gonna create a new site. Just put anything in here. Choose a template. And then over on the right hand side, you can see a blank template. So even with the blank ones, to give you 
a bit of options to add in boxes and stuff. But I'm just going to start from scratch. So in my notes I have here, I have, you can see, we have a plan from, yes, from yesterday day before to build that we site. So I have my colors, I have my fonts, I have my pages of how they're going to be laid out. So I practice what I preach. <laughs> so, um, okay, so this is how you're going to see a blank platform. And um, you have the top, the yellow, you'll see yellow, that means you're in the header. So once you make a change to your header, that'll go across all your pages. And the same with the footer. So once you do it once, you have to do it for each individual page. So if you have 10 pages, the footer will always stay the same and the same for the header, which is really handy. Um, okay, so, and then this bit is just where you're going to add the content. So we can adjust the page size to up or down, depending on how much stuff we're going to put in. So we're going to put a fairly bit in. So let's just drag that down for the time being. So up here, we have menus and pages. So at the minute we've got a home page and that's it. So I'm going to add in a couple of new pages. It really is as simple as going a page. And I'm going to call this page um, services. Done. And then I'm going to add this one. Um, get in touch. So we're going to build a three page website. And I'm going to change home because I don't want that capital letters just for aesthetic reasons. And that is my pages done. Okay, so can't see them anywhere yet because we haven't added our menu yet. So all I'm going to do here is so we have background. You can change the background of your site from to any color, any image that you desire. For me, on a personal level, um, it's my own preference. I like my websites either light or dark. I'm not a big fan of color. I like color um, aspects. I just like the whole thing, but that's just me. So in the same images, I wouldn't put an image as the background. I would add lots of imagery in. Imagery looks great. I just wouldn't have it as the main background. So, but again, entirely up to you how you do it. So I'm gonna keep mine white for the time being. And this plus sign here, this is the main, the kind of main bit of it. This is where we add on everything, text, Images. So from text, you can see we have titles, paragraphs. All you do is click on it, and there we go. It's added in, and we can move it around. That's the same for all um, elements. So we'll get rid of that for the time being. Um, galleries. Got on all different types of galleries. If you've got lots of product, uh, lots of images. Sorry about your business. It's all different ways. Really nice ways that you can add them in. Um, you can connect up your Facebook as well. So if you've got those images in your Facebook, you don't have to sit and download them all onto your desktop and then bring them across. You can hook all that up. Shapes, um, interactive stuff. Um, so you've got kind of these nice sliders that you can put loads of stuff into. So hover boxes, you can see these kind of move as you hover over them. So lots of different features. You can create something really unique with Wix. So I'll not go through them all, but as you can see, there's so many different elements. There's music and video players, and you can get your, you can, if you've got a YouTube channel or a Vimeo channel, you can pick that up as well. So yeah, there's loads you can, you can do. So to start off, I'm going to build my, my header. So I need to put my menu in. So this is all the different styles of menu you can choose. Um, I'm going to go simple. Um, I'm very much of uh, samples better. So if I click gallery, um, let's go to the top one here, it's just this one. Let's go to seven. There we go. Okay. So there's my buttons. And I'm thinking, okay, whenever I click onto any element, it brings up these kind of navigation bars. So Depending on the element, these will slightly change, but this will always appear. So design, we can change the themes again if we actually decide, no, you know what, we don't like that. There's boxes, buttons again. Um, 
So I am going to customize the fonts and the colors. So I go customize design, and here you can see everything. So the fill color, shadow, text, spacing. So for fill color, uh, I want my text to be, let's go with, actually, you know what? I think it's blue. So sorry, if we go out here and change the background, we double click onto this, this will come up. Change header design, settings, design. So I want to go design. I want that to be a solid color. So let's go that color. It's very close to what it is. So as you can see now, you can't really see that one. So let's go in here, click into it, design again, and then we want to customize it. So we want to change the colors and text from black to white. Okay. So as you can see, the home has stayed blue. The reason for that is, is there's three states of a button. There's how it looks whenever it's not clicked or whenever nobody's hovering over it. There's a state of how when it hovers. So as you can see, it turns blue when it's hovered and then when it's clicked. So if I change this clicked to black, the home button should change to black. Hover and do green. Just, just to make it so you can see. So if I go um, preview, the top right, I can see how it looks in real time. So you can see that, that green comes in. So you back the editor. And okay, so there's our buttons. So if you pull this in, I need to take a bit of the space away. And you'll see these purple lines. That is telling me that it's centered horizontally and vertically. So they're really handy to have when it comes to designing for aesthetic reasons to keep everything nice and nice and neat. So, okay, I want to add in next, I want to add in a button. So I want to contact me button. So I'm going to go add buttons. There we go. And again, I like it nice and simple. Let's go with that one. Like that, and as you can see, it brings it into the main page area. So, whenever you're holding and dragging, make sure that you'll see that attached to header to make sure that it's in the header. It turns it back yellow. So, now I know that's definitely in my header. So, if I change page, that will always be there. So, I'm going to edit that design. Um, okay, you know what, actually. I don't like that style anymore. I'm going to put a border around it. So I've changed it. Customize design, border. Let's change that to white. Okay. And then the text. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to make it white. So if you click off it, there we go. You can see that a bit more easier to read. And design again. We want to do hover, so let's go into hover here and we'll have the background change to let's go the dark blue. Okay, so preview to make sure it works. There we go. So we're hovering. So the main thing about that button is we want to, and just sorry, just to change the text, you can just keep clicking and change it to. Whatever, so I'm going to change mine to call, call now. This is a plumber, you want people to get in touch. Um, you double click into it again. This is the main thing about a button. Where does the button go to? So how do, how do I tell it where to go? Does it go to a different page? Does it go to a different website? What does it do? So here we go, add link. So we click into it, that's telling us now, okay, this is everything we can do. We can have it do a phone number, which we want, an email, a document and um, top or bottom of the page, all different things we can do. So we want it to be a phone number. So um and done. So if you were on mobile and you clicked on that, that would call me that would call me straight away. So that's exactly what we want. We want customers to easily get in contact with me. Um so that was my button done. So hovered. We go. If I click on that, it should give me the number. 
So back to the editor, I want a couple of other things in. I want some social media icons. Again, it's all about getting people to get in touch with you. Um, scroll down, there we go, social. So you have a few different um, themes. So I'm just gonna go for the standard ones. So let's drag it in. And okay, so I don't have all these social media accounts. So I need to tell it I don't want all of them. So if I go set social links, and I'll bring you to here. Okay, so I've got Facebook, don't have Twitter, don't have YouTube, don't have Pinterest, and I don't have Tumblr. I have Facebook and I have uh, Instagram. So all you do then is Facebook, you just add in your Facebook link to your business page into there and hit done. And the same for Instagram. Add in the link, change that link to your page and hit done. And down the bottom here, you'll see done. So now I have these two. I don't want them there. I want them in my header so that they go across all the pages. So as you can see, it's the way attach the headers came in. So I'm in the right bit. I'm going to line it up with that. Maybe. There we go. And I'm going to make this a touch across. A bit more room. So there, quite quickly, we have a, a call to action, Facebook call to actions, our page is in, and now all I need to add is my logo, and I'll be happy with that. So all that is is an image. Um, so you can get images from, as I said, your Facebook, your Instagram, um, Wix have some free ones, but your logo, you're probably gonna have that on your computer. So you're gonna go to my image, uploads, and I'm gonna upload some media. So I have some set up, as I said. There's my logo, I'm gonna choose it. I'll come in here now. And we're gonna add that to page. So, okay, so it's quite big. So we click onto it, and as you can see here, whenever I hover, there the arrows come double-sided. I can do it at the corners, so that should keep it in proportion. So, there we go, I'm gonna have that in. And as you can see, attach the headers came in, put it right at the edge. There we go. So my color isn't right. Doesn't, I want it to match my logo. So I know my logo, my logo colors. So I'm gonna click into it, change design, customize it again, and fill in color background. So for some reason, it's a center background and full background. You need to do both. So I know if I add a color. So hopefully if you have a logo, if you've purchased a logo or somebody's done a logo for you, they'll be able to give you these color codes. So these are called hex codes. Um, most logo sites, if you get one from one of the sites, they'll give you these, or if you've got a designer to do it or something, they should have these, no problem. So my hex code for that is 113F67. Add. Okay, so there you go, that bit's changed, and then you change the center, and let's see it. So, there we go. Happy enough with that, I will change that black, but I'm not wasting any more time. Uh, so there's my header built. So hopefully that was straightforward enough. Um, let's go back in, and we'll try and get a bit more of this site done. So I want a big header image, or a really focused header image. So Let's go to, let's flick through this and see if there's something that catches my eye. Um, this sort of thing. So, okay, this is kind of what I'm after. Now, this is a video, but it doesn't make a difference. I can change that out, no problem. So, let's add this in. So, there we go. This has now been put in. So, if I click on it, you see the blue lights, the blue lines, sorry, come on. Just click, hold, I can drag that up right to the top. There you go. And I can also make it bigger for the size. So there you see the arrow, stretch it. Let's make it bigger, or you can make it smaller, whatever you want. So it says, just really drag and drop. Okay, so this isn't right. It's not my brand, it's not my image. So you click into it. Again, these images come up, change the background. I want to add in my own image. So image, I'm gonna upload um, some media. So upload from the computer. And 
I'm actually just going to upload all of these because all these will come into my site just to see if that time here. I just click all of them, I choose, these will all upload. Okay, great. So this is the one. Uh, where about that? Great. So this is the one I have picked for my header. I'll change that background. There we go. So the issue with this guy is is that it's um it's too big. You can't see the guy's head. So if you don't have access to links of Photoshop or anything like that, you can make changes in here. So this is where this is really great. You've tried it, didn't work. If we go in here and we go to the side, crop and edit. I know it's just a bit too tall, so I'm going to try and take some of the height away this way. That might make it make his head come in a bit more focused. So if I do that, hopefully that should work. Hit save, it'll create a new um, image for me here. So it doesn't affect the image I brought in, as you can see, there's a new one. So I took a bit of the height away. Hopefully, there we go. So his head's been a bit more, looks a bit more, looks a bit better. You can see he's a plumber. Happy enough with that. Great. So here we are going to put in um, a message. So edit text. Um, you change the font to whatever you want. I have mine set to Poppins. Um, can bold it as well, and let's just put mine as welcome to, okay, so this is set to having a large gap between the text. So all this is, is one of the effects, so it's character and line spacing. So they have put 0.4, we want to bring that back to zero, just so it's normal. That's fine, so popping off of that, welcome to, um portal plumbers okay so again they've done it with this the height here now is off so um it's just the way that we theme was if we melt that up the spacing we can bring that in a bit a bit more space make it easier to read probably with that great okay so button yeah, I want another button. I want to make it easier for people to find, to get in touch. So again, like last time, change the text. Get in touch link. Okay, so I've got a page called Get in Touch. I'm going to send the guys to that page because on that page, I'm going to have a contact form. So I'm going to add the link. I'm going to say I want to go to a different page. So I've got select it. Home. Nope. I want to go to get in touch. Done. So when everybody clicks on that, I'll take them straight to get in touch with my telephone numbers, maybe a contact form, everything else that they need to get in touch with me. So design. Let's just make it just quick, just so you can get through this a bit quicker. So I'll keep it blue. So there we go. Let's go preview. So now we have in the real basics of the site, relatively quick. So if two, two or three call to action, we've got a call, to now, call now there, I get in touch, social media, and welcome to Portal Plumbers Co. Yeah. Okay, so next, I'm going to put in a wee bit about the business. So as you can see these lines here, these lines are really for responsive design. So what I mean by responsive design is like mobile and tablet and all different screen sizes. So you can put text, I would try and keep my text, sorry, in between these lines. You can put imagery outside the lines, that's fine. You can put text outside the lines as well, but just for responsive design and for people with maybe older computers or um, different screen sizes, like my screen size here is big because I'm, I use it for, for work. You may be on a laptop. So just for, for safety really more than anything, I always try and keep my text within these margins. So I would advise you to do the same. Um, so. Again, there's going to be something simple here um, about us. Text. Let's put in a title. Um, big title. It's going to change anyway. 
Let's go down again, edit text, heading a bit bigger. So I said my text was Pobbins, semi bold, and I'm going to make it centered. Um, black's fine for now. Or we can make our blue. Can make our blue. There we go. So I want to go in one line, just drag that out. There we go. So I'll click onto it, find my pink lines, that's centered. There we go. Double click into it and just change it. So about, about us. Great. So all I'm going to do here, add an image and a bit of text. So again, we want some more text, but we want a paragraph this time. And something like that looks great. Down in here, and I'm going to do it 50 50. So I'm going to do half here and here. Okay, so for just for this, I use um, something called, it's just for dummy text. It just helps you really generate. A real look and feel to the site. So if you haven't got your text on, uh, Lorem Ipsum, I'm sure you've heard of it. It just helps. It's just not really... Yeah, so I can say I want um, one paragraph, generate me text. And then I just copy it. And I go back to my page, double click in. And there I have some text and I'll create a paragraph as well, just for aesthetics. And then we're going to add in an image. So let's add in, we'll go with this one. I want to make it slightly different sizing. So we go down here, see select ratio. Let me get that square. Yeah, I'll do there and then save. And add to page. So there we go, try and keep it thin in lines. Let me get a bit smaller. There we go. So you could even do something like that. If you thought that was better, probably is. Um, and there you have an about me section. So this could just be, you, can, you might want an about me page, but it's nice to have on the homepage, just something quickly, a couple of paragraphs, just about who you are, what the site's about, company's about, sorry. And then we'll get links into a about me page. So just to show this, you could do something like this, where you have a button here that says read more. So just change that to read more. Then that will take you straight through to your About Me page. And that's the first section. So fairly quickly we have three sections done and I know I'm used to it, but uh, you can see, hopefully, uh, uh, you're able to see that it is relatively straightforward to build these um, sections out. It's just a matter of getting in and kind of playing about with it. So quickly, before we go, I'll just do the services section. Um, it's just next week, and we'll have to go through all the start stuff and we'll be able to get a bit more of this time in place. So we'll just do this section first. Add. So for that section, I want to I want to change the background a little bit. Fed up and just white. Let's break up into a bit more sections. So I'm just going to use that bugs. These are great. So these are called um, strip. So I want just a classic color. So, okay. So let's just go black. So what a strip does is it'll go from side to side, no matter what. If I make this smaller or bigger, it will always go to the edge. So that's exactly what I want. Hold down a retouch. And I want to change the background color onto my branding. And let's go to color again and my blue. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, blue. 
So it's going to down a wee touch. So again here, you can see it's pulling it a wee bit. And then if we're running out of page height, so you can see here, we are getting very close. There's the footer. Pull that down, give ourselves a bit more room. Pull that down. And there we go, we've got a bit more real estate on the website before we meet the footer. So all we're going to do here is um, a quick title, add in text, title, title again. Just want to do this really quick for you guys. I don't want to keep keep this too long. Services and let's go. Poppins, old, white. So it's easy to see. to make sure it's highlighted. So it's probably Microsoft Word in that sort of way that you know, you're very familiar with it. As long as it's highlighted, it will change. Um, some of the programs I use for my own stuff, it's not like that, so I always get confused. Um, okay, so Poppins. And let's center again. Okay, so you could say, I have done three services. I want an image. Image I'll come out. My uploads, okay. So I've got them all. I've got them all in here. I'll just do one to show you. Um, okay. So there's this guy here. I'm going to crop and edit it. And again, I'm going to square. So size and ratio. Four by three. Brilliant. Save. And there he is. So that's the new one. There's the original. So it hasn't damaged the original. There's a new one, to add the page. I don't want anywhere near as big as that. Down in here. And go to the edge. And we will do paragraph. And edit the text. Color white. Let's see, you can just copy this. So if you if you hold Alt and click on it, you can do a duplicate relatively easy. So if we click on this, uh, we'll just make that a bit smaller. Go to the left, and we'll call it something like. Order destination. So I want that to go one line. So let's make it smaller again. Oh, there we go. Make that bigger again. Let's click off it and stretch it down. And we'll get another button in there to be. So Alt and drag. I'll make it change that to. And um, white. In the text, go. So that would link to your services page. So my three um, services were boiler installation, boiler maintenance, and gas and central heating. So all I would do there is I want these to be three of the same. So I select that and that as well. Hold and shift. And then out, and then oh, sorry, oh, didn't like this one. So just make a space, drag it across. And then you can see we're quickly creating like a wee mini introduction to your services. So people can go on your homepage straight away and say, all right, okay. These guys do boiler installation, they do boiler maintenance. I'm going to find out more about it. So that's what the homepage is. Your homepage is nearly selling the rest of the website because people's attention is so small that they're not going to look, look through your whole website unless they can see straight away that what you do is what they need. So you, know, you can retie that up, center it up a touch, and get our pink lines in. There we go. 
So there you have quickly a services um, page. And yeah, that is kind of the introduction to the to how to build stuff. So I'll say for this week, Sean, we leave it kind of with the building. We leave it there with that one. Yeah, um, Mark. Well, before people go away, um, first of all, I thought that was brilliant um, for myself in terms of you know finding out about the functionality and how yeah simple it seems to use you know um amazed you got that much done in that short space of time we did run over a, a wee bit but i mean that absolutely no problem there um so just while people are here um i think again if anybody wants to ask a question yep. uh, raise your hand and, and and we'll let you speak um and also i'm going to launch the second of these two polls so please complete this before before um going anywhere and uh, thanks again mark yeah no problems like as you can see here from this the, uh, with the question about the templates you can really do whatever you whatever you want um and sometimes it's just a matter of getting in there for a couple of hours throwing stuff about and you know what i mean just making mistakes and you'll just get the hang of it really quick it's it's a nice it's a nice platform to use um and it's simple, that's the key, and it's inexpensive as well. Okay. So I'm just wondering, I mean, do, does anybody have any questions for Mark or even myself about Kickstart um, before we, we wrap up today? Oh, Barry has his hand up, so hang on. I'm going to allow Barry to speak. Come on ahead, Barry, you should be able to speak now. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Ah, sorry. Just checking, is there any way of watching back what you've gone through uh, in the last 45 minutes of building the site? Because it, it, it is fantastic what you've done, but there's definitely wee small bits of detail that uh, I maybe missed out while I was taking notes and all of a sudden due to the delay sometimes and maybe the cursor flying around the screen, I maybe missed it where you went sometimes. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, sorry. We, we'll be hoping to put this online. Um, we're not quite sure exactly how yet, possibly via the, the council's YouTube channel. Um, and obviously we'll be relying on other teams within council to help us with that. So it might take us a wee bit of time. It might take us a few days to get that done. But yes, we'll be hoping to uh, put it online. It'll be made available on the um, council website. Oh, on the council website? Right. Okay, thank you. That was Gary, was it? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Gary. So hopefully next week, um, we, we don't have to do the introduction to the, to the platform. But whenever I go through like building the services page and stuff, I'll be able to be a bit slower on, I was conscious of time there at the end. I wanted to show you as much as I could. Um, and I, I realized it was a bit faster than I would have liked. So hopefully next week, as I say, if you tune in back, back again next week, it'll be, um, it'll be a bit calmer with building, a, building the next page. Um, so hopefully that'll help. And do people do need to do any homework for next week? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that sort of teacher. Yeah, okay. You've got a free weekend. Yeah. Okay. okay well i think probably that's about us is it yeah yeah Great, okay yeah. thank you mark and thanks everyone for joining and uh hopefully see it will not see you but uh <laughs> hopefully you'll be back here again next week okay all the best stay safe good luck cheers thanks so much all right bye see ya